Uh, thank you very much, Nzinga. This uh, morning in Pichama Respect, it seems to be very quiet in most of the areas that we went to. We started at Grace Hospital, but there we could see that uh, the Department of uh, Health in Guazul Natal managed to hire more uh, security, private security company to try and guard the hospital. But other than that, uh, the protesters also, they are just protesting on the other side of the road. We are here at the Fort Napier Hospital now. At the Fort Napier Hospital, there's also a pathology department that is also working closely with the funeral palace in the Peter Marisbeck area. I'll just bring in Ubaba Umuzis Bia, Umuzim Kize, who will briefly tell us about the problems that they are facing during this time. Babum Kize, thank you very much for your time. Briefly about the issues that uh, the funeral palace in Peter Marisbeck have because of uh, this uh, strike yeah we have a big problem because now there's a two weeks delay in preparing for the funerals and the families are very frustrated and it's not right so we are pleading that this thing needs to be solved and then it pass we also understand that if you can just go back a little bit uh, when you are saying that uh, it's been two weeks are you guys able to access uh, the cops no, we can't. We can't access the cops. The cops, we have cops inside and we have cops that are still stuck in hospitals that needs to be removed for, for autopsy. So there is the, the, nothing that we can do at the moment. This strike needs to end as soon as possible. We also understand that if you are basically the person you are fetching the body from home, you are able to take it to your mortuary. And then what happened to to you getting the doctor to do a post-mortem and then what happened to you to register that body at the home affairs? As long as it's a natural cause, it's not a problem because we are capable to get private doctors to come to our mortuaries and certify the death. But if if, 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 if we need, if it's an accident or we, it's a suspicion of, of, foul play, of foul play or anything that needs to be taken to the private, uh, to the government mortuary. Now everything is stuck there, that side. So the, the home affairs, last week we had a challenge. Some of the home affairs were not working last week, but this morning they were working. I don't know how long that will last. So, because you're also working close with the families, what are the families saying to you guys in relation, for, uh, basically, as they are not able to get the bodies? They are very traumatized. It's not nice because you don't know when, when to arrange for the burial for and what is going to happen to their bodies. And we know that, uh, especially this mortuary here, it's a very, very busy mortuary. They are, they are, the capacity of their uh, uh, fridges is not good enough to, to, to keep their bodies for a longer time. So what is it that maybe that you think that can be done to try and resolve the issue so that maybe they the families can get the bodies? I think the government, it's up to the government to, to meet the demands or to try and talk to, 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 to the workers so that something can be done to stop this strike. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, Zinga, that was uh, Moses B. Muzi M. Keys uh, briefing us about uh, the issues that they have as a funeral palace in Peter Marisbeck. Uh, I'll just step out of the shot, Nzinga, so that you will be able to see so that you'll be able to see that uh, this uh, this is uh, the uh, Fort Napier uh, pathology uh, department. At this department, uh, no one is working today. But when we did, I uh, was speaking to to the members of uh, the Nehau and also staff members who were who are here outside the gate. They are telling us that uh, this uh, department, when they arrived today, uh, the gates were locked and their offices were locked. And a tape that shows that they must not remove the tape. The tape is there. I'll just uh, ask uh, Asbu to show you the members of uh, the the staff members who are gathered outside here in Zinga, they are trying to uh, organize themselves, they are trying to address each other in relation to the problems that they have because they are also saying that the strike is being intensified in the pro in this uh, part of uh, the, the city because also other government officials in other departments are also asked to leave their offices to join the strike because this is affecting the public servants, all the public servants in the province of Fosun Natal as well all the public servants in the country. Uh, this uh, mortuary is uh, basically has got According to the staff members, they are telling us that they receive more than, uh, they could accommodate more than uh, 450 bodies. So you'd imagine that uh, 
those uh, 440 uh, building uh, basic bodies that are kept in this hospital, if they are not uh, taken by their family members for burial, what will happen to them? Because it's been two weeks, it's, it, we're starting the second week now for them to be in this uh, mortuary. Also, you'll understand that even in hospitals, they, the bodies that are in hospitals, they are not able to get, uh, basically, to access them because the strike is all over in these uh, facilities. Back to you in Studio Nzinga.